I don't know who needs to hear this, but I've I've since learned and 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 keep learning that there are some things that we don't have control over in life, especially if they are on the external side, and 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 however there are things that we have control over, especially if they are on the inside. Um. I've, I've enjoyed pain in life, you know, I've enjoyed rejection, I've enjoyed some of the most unthinkable hardships, right? And for as long as I learned to cope living with the pain, I think I was living a half-life type of a thing because every time the pain would remind me that it's still present, I sort of like changed everything about me in me and we get to a point where we heal you know and sometimes healing could mean that we've learned to cope better <laughs> with the pain that's still there um, we've managed to manipulate our psychosocial states and so forth and have come to a point of um, you know, knowing how to not feel the pain associated with the wound that you can see and that you very well know that it still exists, right? And a route less traveled requires one to actually sometimes go back in time, relive every moment if you are intentional about completely healing. And and what that has done for me was to give me power over my pain, give me power over people that hurt me, give me power over the fear of rejection, because what that did, it, it gave me back power to choose what I want and what I don't want, but also it gave me the freedom to just be without fear or anxiety. When I started recognizing myself for the person that I am and want to become, I, I equally detached from anything that suggested otherwise. Um, I started seeing how sufficient I am. I started seeing how valid I am. I started seeing how powerful I am. I stopped doubting in my being. And I took control of a complete happiness in my life. So let's do that. Choose you. Validate you. There is this history.